sweet. Yeah, cool. Got up this morning, Saturday. Gotta clean all that out. There's a box on my porch. My kid signed for a box from FedEx. And uh, I had to take this off to get this one out of the way. That's my favorite wheel, but nobody likes it on the car, so we had to go with a 50 Chevy. Now this is a 1950 Chevy steering wheel on a 1986 Chevy Blazer steering shaft and uh, nothing's changed. Almost 40 years, nothing changed. Same spline. This actually, the steering wheel actually had a keyway. It probably would have fit on the old uh, 30 Chevy shaft too. I'll say that 10 times fast. 30 Chevy shaft. But um, the horn's cool. I got the pieces for the horn right here. Now the only thing I found that was different is that the nut's a different thread. But I mean it's the same, what are they, 19 spline or something like that. Like that. Now the horn is part of this assembly. And it still fits on. Just the nut's the wrong one. I might have to ream out that hole a little bit. This looks like it's aluminum. How cool is that? Now we're not going to sandblast it or paint it or nothing. When it's done, it's going just like that. But um, I found this one on eBay. And uh, this one came out of Holly, New York. Older gentleman stripping down a car. I don't even know if he's an old guy. It could be a young kid. <laughs> but it's got the uh, thick, heavy horizontal bar and a single vertical bar like an old bomber airplane. But man, that's so huge. We can turn the wheels. And I like the fact of the width of it, because it's so big, that uh, I've still got plenty of side room here for the door. It's got to be a good, probably six inches before you even come anywhere near the panel, so your arm's not going to be pinched between the door and the steering wheel. I always like horizontal bar wheels, because you can just put your hand under there. I can tell that somebody did it a lot here. It's all polished. Put your hand here, take a left, you know what I mean? Underhand it. Let's get you a good picture. That is awesome. <sighs> Alright, we'll show pictures of the 50 Chevy it came out of too. I'm going to visit with Dad. And I think we're going to be making the bushings for the hinges, which are right here. I got part of it welded. Um, we're going to make the bushings for these, machine them down, put some bronze in there. And only after that's all done, I'm going to bend this tab over and have it welded. And grind the angles, and then figure out the thickness, and shim those up and have those welded to that. It's a lot of work, but we're going to have some nice hinges. And the plates had that little slit in them, so we still got that problem where uh, we're going to have to figure out the shim depth on the door. Look at that nice well. Who the hell did that? Pretty good. But uh, we're going to go visit with the mother in law. Trust me, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I have to.
Now I got a little play because my shaft hasn't been welded yet. I think you know that story by now. But have a good day, guys. I'm uh, got to spend some time with the wife and her mother. <laughs>
<laughs> That's gonna be crazy. I know, we'll leave the roof solid. You open the door and you crawl onto the roof, right? No? Wish the sun wasn't here, but it is. Well, it'll be down in a minute. We'll get better pictures. Holy crap. I love the Corvette light touch. <laughs> It's a 1931 Corvette. Looks like a casket car or something. Yeah, a little coffin. Yeah, it looks like a coffin car from behind. From the 60s? We'll have to make a, uh, a trailer that's a coffin car with all the glass sides. And just... wow, wow. That's just crazy. And look what we got. 57, 50 Chevy steering wheel. That thing works beautiful. It's got to be like 18 inches around. Manual steering, don't feel like it. We got all our hinge parts coming together right here under the sock. Bushings and pins and collars and the shaft. We gotta hang that door. Uh, it's getting close. I love this shot right here. You really should check out uh, the uh, web page, Rock Holy crap. That is crazy. You can find out well, sun's gone down a little. Now you can see the floor. Crap everywhere. It's time to gut this puppy out. It's beautiful out. Trying to make room and clean the garage. Here comes the sun again. You have to have that in your driveway. Love that steering wheel. That thing is just too cool. Body's got to come down a little bit, but not much. Got our antenna. Oh, you didn't see these. I made these because I could. Quarter inch. Pretty cool. Well, let's clean the garage. Oh my god. <laughs> I got bolts to sort and put away and clamps and boards to brushes to pick up. Oh my god. Oh, I gotta put them patterns away. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. I'll take some video after, guys. There you go. Garage is much cleaner. I got both of my doors down. There's one, there's the other. That one's already in the frame. This one, the frame's in front of it, as you can see. I got my cardboard for uh, patterns for the floors and the walls and the doors and all that stuff. But you can find the floor. The only thing I really didn't pick up was this. I could throw it in there, but I'll end up looking for bolts anyway and pulling it out. But the mess is contained underneath here in containers and stuff. I tr threw out about two containers of nuts and bolts and wires and stuff. I sorted it all and it's actually all in this rack, most of it. So my bolt bins are filling back up again. Any loose tools were here. Wrenches are hanging up, grinders are all hung up. I have a lot of grinders. I think I have eight. Vice grips are all right here. But uh, somebody's gotta come in and I'm gonna do a little video of her being pushed in. And yes, I call her her. So let's set you up right here. And I'm gonna go get Dawn. If I can see it. The steering wheel looks awesome, man. Let's go grab Dawn. Oh, 
This is a good point. The spring puts it, what, a half inch away? You think? You yeah. know what it is? Everything's put away. My tape measures are all over there. Where's that from somebody? Oh, just make it stainless. I've welded stainless before. Here's one for the record books. Now, Dad had machined down a nylon collar that goes inside. I think it was original GM, and he machined it down to fit inside the two-inch. This is stainless steel that he had uh, next to his lathe. And uh, what we did is we had drilled a hole just before the bushing so the bushing wouldn't sink all the way in. Well, with the new wheel, we didn't need a collar if I could move it down just a, not even three-eighths of an inch. So I drilled a new hole, and now if we put the steering wheel on, get to line up. Look at that. Well, when you tighten it down, it's right there. So it's that close. Probably like an eighth inch away, which is good. It ain't rubbing. But when we suck that, uh, when we weld the shaft down here, the Jeep Laredo shaft, it's not going to be uh, binding up any, which is cool. I don't need a collar anymore. How cool is that? Just one of those little adjustments. Now, i got to flip this tube upside down so that screws on the other side, but um, the column's going to come out probably one more time. I did find the nut. Don had one for the steering wheel. But uh, this thing's got the horn built into it too. It's pretty cool. It's got a little pin right there. And that pin goes up in the middle. And you can feel that it just sits in there. I don't want to hog down on this thing, so let me find the hole. And I had an adjustable wrench just to hand tighten it. I'm doing this with one hand. Yeah, hold the wheel for me. Okay, that's good. Now it's about eighth inch away, but I don't need a collar. That's a good thing. This wheel is friggin' awesome. I love it. It's just incredible. It's got a little pin on the top right to make sure that you can only put the uh, Chevy logo flush. That's it. Uh, it's not flush, but I'll get it. <laughs> It's a bitch to get it off to. That's a cool wheel, man. I love how big it is. It's awesome. But uh, I've been out here all day. What did I do? I ran to Dad's. We messed with the hinges. We got the bushings and all that stuff working. And uh, got to do a little reaming. Then they got to be right here. Got to get welded. I got all the bushings I needed. Um, got my doors down. Cleaned the garage again. Um... Not a bad day. But things are getting better. One part at a time. Okay. Have a good night.